Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right, first time riding in the new Tacoma. Nice little view, 360 view, plus that's the front camera. It's pretty cool. The question is, what do I want to talk about? That's right. <laughs> I want to talk about everything. All right, we can do that. We're excited about this truck. Yeah, I tell you I, what, it's been a long time coming and we're really excited about it. So really glad we could have you here. We love to show you all around. I think a lot of people are excited about this truck. I mean, this sure is, so. in terms of leaps and bounds, just reading that sheet of all the new things sure. that make it really an all new truck. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. All right, a couple of things. Sure. We are in Hawaii. Yeah. We're actually on the big island. That's right. And there's a good reason for that too. There, absolutely. A lot of people may not know, but the Tacoma by far is the best selling vehicle in the state of Hawaii by a long shot. It sure is. Nothing even comes close. That's right. So I'm a big Toyota truck guy. Awesome. Even yeah. though I love the GR lineup, what gets us off-road obviously are the Toyota trucks. So it's really fitting for Toyota to launch this vehicle in Hawaii. Basically the state that embraced this vehicle. That's right. So, I mean, I, I, and plus it feels like we're in the rainforest right now. Oh my gosh. Talking about this thing. This is incredible. Yeah. Right? This location, this view, are you kidding me? This is incredible. But so much of this, I mean, you have the Trail Hunter, you have the TRD, you have a manual version. Mm -hmm. um, so much of this really speaks to the enthusiast, you being an off-road enthusiast yourself. Sure. You know, it, it seems like from what I can tell, more and more people who work at a manufacturer, they may not be a true vehicle enthusiast, like a truck mm. or a car enthusiast, you mm -hmm. know? And it's honestly really refreshing mm. to talk to somebody like you who actually lives it, who yeah. enjoys it. You know, we're, we're fortunate. This is an incredible product. You mentioned it. I mean, to be here in Hawaii with this, honestly, we, there really isn't a better place uh, to, to show off this truck. But um, I, I will tell you, to a person on this project, there's a lot of excitement around this truck development program. We put forth what we thought was a really aggressive development concept. And we challenged our engineering and development team. We challenged our manufacturing teams. And every single individual to a person is super excited about this truck. We talk about loving and living the product. And that what that means is getting in it, understanding how the customer uses it and making sure that it's part of everything that we do that goes into it. We talked about the development concept. We use words like credible, authentic, tough, and durable. This was what this truck is meant to be. And it all starts with our QDR because that's why so many people around here like it, right? They know that this truck is gonna, they're, they're gonna spend some money on it, but it's gonna last them a good long time. Yeah, I mean, f part of it also is that one, one of the things I always like to say uh, and it's not a dig on Toyota at all. Mm -hmm. A lot of times with Toyota trucks, especially, mm -hmm. it may not have all the bells and whistles, but do you want your truck to last to a million miles or not? That's what you know? But with that said, I feel like you've kind of turned it around with this current generation Tundra, as well as this new generation of Tacoma. Now it actually has all the bells and whistles and more. That was kind of the idea here, right? We get to do this about once every you know, 15 to 20 years. So we had to make sure that this platform was set up to last into the future as well. So from everything now to the new turbos, you know, for example, uh, when we bring the turbos onto the truck line, everyone's worried about turbo durability. Well, for trucks, we run our turbo, not to our, our, our passenger grade, but actually to our commercial grade standards, right? Because we know the duty cycle is gonna be higher on those. So we're making sure that when we introduce these turbos, and, and by the way, turbos aren't new to Toyota, right? Especially if you think about globally and, and some applications in different, in different markets. Bringing these here, you can rest assured, these are going through all the same paces that all of our previous generation vehicles did. Let's start out with this one, the Trail Hunter. Trail this Hunter. is a new one. Yes, sir. This is uh, near and dear to me. We had started to think about our premium truck lineup and um, you know talking about TRD versus Trail Hunter that's the big question that I always get asked. TRD Pro is always about you know adrenaline fueled desert racing it's a truck that's meant to go fast in the desert and have a good time. We found a lot of folks were you know saying hey I need something that has the suspension travel but I, I'm not using it for that purpose. So we really felt like there's this active outdoor adventure and really you know performance motorsports really was sort of what set all of these you know sort of suspension and and I'll say uh, components that have been really dedicated for this sort of ground clearance and crawling. 
but we wanted to make sure that each was tuned for their respective purpose. And so the trail hunter is really about going, you know, long distances. It's about doing it in comfort. It's about being, you know, heavily laden because you're taking the gear that you need with you. Whereas you want to kind of keep, you know, TRD Pro, we want to kind of keep it light and fast and nimble. So that was the genesis. And therefore we have the, the trail hunter. So trail hunter, uh, we working with uh, Old Man Emu. It, it carries many of the same traits, a three inch wider uh, stance than the base truck, uh, Old Man Emu suspension. We've got multiple zones. So uh, two jounds, three compression. This allows us to give you good on-road compliance, but then also have that sort of, you know, mid-speed fire road type activity. But you can clearly see this is also built for getting in those tough to, tough to reach places. Rock sliders right to the frame. From the factory? From the factory. Guaranteed for, you know, half GVW. We actually have a, a front skid plate. We have a mid protection plate full fuel tank protection, and then a rear diff uh, protector as well. So completely armored, uh, ready to go off-road. We're showing here our long deck version. You can get this also in a, in a five foot box, but we know that folks like to have a little bit more, uh, a little bit more space. Optional roof rack, standard sport bar. The sport bar actually can be converted into a full-size deck rack. It's interesting to me, mm -hmm. with the Trail Hunter, mm -hmm. you're like, it's like, pre-modifying it, it you know for the consumer for somebody that may not want to buy the base version sure and then you know put their own effort and put their own flair and you know put their own taste and flavor into it which honestly takes a long time and costs a lot of money you know off-road especially everything seems like it's a lot more money because of the fact that it needs to be durable you know you need five, six tires sometimes. That's right. It's a little different versus modifying something small like a, I don't know, GR Corolla or even sure. a Supra. But it's cool, like this even has like a higher mounted air filter. That's right. Snorkel, don't call it a snorkel sure. kind of thing, right? <laughs> That's right. Desert hair, we, well, in this particular case, we, we typically refer to it as a snorkel, but what it's really supposed to be doing is whether you're running in the desert or you're running in a dusty trail, we're trying to get that clean air into the motor, right? Um, this is a great way to do that. And yeah, you, you, you hit on something that was really important because there's three real tenets of, of Trail Hunter. And the first one was that most folks, they might go buy a truck and they say, okay, you know, I want to become, I want to get into overloading. I'm new to it, right? First thing they just put on a deck rack and a tent. But, you know, fundamentally, we need to build this truck from the, from the base up. You need that truck to be stable. You need to make sure that it has good performance. You're raising the center of gravity, right? Making sure that we have this thing set up so that you can drive it safely and reliably because the most important thing is making sure you get back. Right, and we, we want to make sure our customers always get back. So we said, hey, we can do some of the heavy lifting for you. We're going to take care of the foundational elements, but we want to make this truck easily customizable. And one of the other great parts is when we can partner with some of these other suppliers out there, what we're able to do is integrate them better to the truck. That means lower cost, lower mass, better reliability. And then of course, the third thing is we can help you finance it. It also is cool because it is a blank canvas still, yeah. you know, even though it comes from the factory with cool over fenders, you know, a little bit of a snorkel, including honestly really nice wheels from the factory. Like I'm sure a lot of owners right away, they're going to try to figure out a way to fit 35s on it, mm -hmm. you know, up the boost, this, that, and other, all mm -hmm. that stuff. Let's talk about the TRD Pro. Yeah. This thing looks absolutely incredible. Cool. Honestly, I, I wouldn't say it looks more aggressive. Would you say this is equally aggressive as a trail hunter? It shares some common components, but with a different spirit and execution. So both of them have this sort of swept up front high approach uh, front bumper. And that's to make sure we get these things on the obstacle first, right? So you see these big gnarly over fenders. Obviously we talked about three inches wider on the tread width. One of the most important tenets of this truck is we wanted to make sure it looked like it was going fast even when it was sitting still. And that was something that was really important. So you can see the two-tone painted roof. One of my personal favorite things that maybe not everybody sees, but is right up in here, you'll notice that there's no Mercury line right here. This is actually, we've been able to put this sort of fastback spoiler directly in the side member router so we can keep it nice and clean, trim this out with a, with a resin spoiler here. And then everything about this is meant the fast, you know, high up angles for, for better for departure, you know, the steel rear rear bar. This is blowing me away because this is actually an ARB it is. bumper. That's right. This is steel. That's right. This actually is functional. You can tow with it, right? That's a, a, a or, rear recovery point. Recovery yep. point. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it still has 
parking sensors built in. That was the key. So when you when the aftermarket you know tries to do something like this, they have to try to figure out how our electronics. So we got our sonar. We're here. We got our BSM, including the trailer BSM oh, as well. It's like right this, up in here. In this behind this. That's right. So we have worked together with ARB to package all this and to make sure that it's sim that it's completely integrated. This goes right into the frame, so that you have tons of strength there. Right up here, we have our integrated high lift jack point right into the frame. Stick the nose oh, right underneath that is there. So cool! You can lift it up. It's on both sides. You know, it's something we can give away, and but it's a it's an access uh, you know a point that we can. This is so interesting in that like I see this a lot with sports cars. Just when you think you can't get it done, and just when you think because of regulation mm -hmm. it can't be legal on a on a road car. You know, you guys figured it out somehow. We're, we're, we're trying, yeah, absolutely. In terms of like the actual bumper usage, you know, five mm -hmm. mile per hour bumper or whatever, pedestrian safety. Mm -hmm. The fact that this passes all of it yeah, is that's right. so crazy. So most of our pedestrian stuff we do up front, but in the rear, we, uh, we this is where we keep our safety system. So we have cross traffic alert, we have pedestrian cross traffic alert here. So the truck will backing up, if it senses a pedestrian, it'll hit the brakes for you. So. Again, you know, while this is meant to be sort of fun in the desert, a lot of folks, this will be their everyday driver, right? So we have to give you the safety, comfort, and, and those other additional features that make this a really fun truck to, to drive around every day. And, and, and to, like you just said, to, to bring, you know, backup cameras, we've got cameras here. We, with the towing, we have a light that basically gives you about eight feet of visibility around here. We have up in the Chimzo, we've got another light. So we've got the side deck lights. These are mainly, so if you had a tunnel cover, they're wide angle, they throw like this way and this way. Um, and then there's power back here. There is. Uh, this is 2400 watts, so AC power. On this side, I've got your DC power, two uh, USB-Cs, and we've got a, uh, a 12 volt in here as well. Oh, that so, is so cool. It just lifts up. Yeah, also right down here, if you want, we can also put in a air compressor. It mounts right in here. This allows you to air up or air down, you can pre-program it. The actual compressor is mounted in there or? Right here. Oh, right there, yep. okay. Oh, this is the tail, this is the power tailgate. Yeah. Yes, sir. This is uh, on the Tundra too. Yep, oh. but this is power. So that's a that's an automatic release on Tundra. This is actually power. You oh. got a button on this side, you got a button on that side. And then of course, you know, sometimes you're pulling the cooler out and you don't really have room, you just kind of <laughs> do that, walk that away. That is so cool. And it'll close for you. It also features, in case you had a load on this or something, it's got a ratchet to protect itself and it'll slowly fall. Got a pinch sensor right here. So if you do happen oh. to have somebody, um, this'll this will reverse the tailgate as it goes up. Got it. Yeah, so all that- That is uh, so neat. It, it, these, these are the little things mm -hmm. that I, I just, I didn't even think of, you know, I wouldn't have <laughs> thought of. All right, so let's check out the engine bay. Okay, yeah. And we'll, we'll talk about the power plant options. Sure. One of the things that, you know, a lot of people will, the discussion point will be the fact that it's not a six cylinder anymore. And Correct. it's a and it's a four cylinder turbo. So tell me about this engine. So this is what we call our iForce Max. So this is a, a four cylinder uh, turbo, but it's paired with our one motor hybrid. So that, that motor is directly in line and that those are complemented with a eight speed automatic transmission. I think you've seen some of the stats here, but the uh, big horsepower, big, uh, big torque, 465 pound feet of torque, you get that at 1700 RPM. Obviously this one has the performance air intake as well. That's part of, you know, signature to the TRD Pro model. Uh, it's available in other, uh, other vehicles, but mainly standard here. Uh, but yeah, so this is all about lots of power, lots of torque, uh, making sure that- four cylinder. Out of a four cylinder. Yeah, with, with the one motor hybrids. Yeah, with the, with the assist, that's right. But yeah, and like I was mentioning, the turbos, we run those new turbos, they're all run to our commercial standard. It's about one third more duty cycle that's required. So really, really put to the test, but this thing is a ton of fun to drive. Uh, and you know what, all that torque, it really helps when you get these big wheels on it, you know? So then was this in another Toyota Global so before? Th this shares its basic DNA with the L4 turbo. We call it the FF for the front wheel drive vehicles, right? Obviously this was uh, reconfigured to the rear drive. And then the one motor uh, components are actually shared with Tundra. So it's actually the same motor, same battery, um, obviously made it up to the uh, 8AT. And then, so the battery goes under the rear seats. It does. That's just right. like the Tundra. Exactly correct. That's right. That yeah. is so so we, we do cool. lose a little bit of storage, but you get a, you get a pretty, pretty cool battery. Oh man, that is awesome. So when it goes into production, is yeah. it going to have a big engine cover? You know what? No, is the answer to that. That's why we decided we're gonna we're gonna leave the engine cover off. 
I like that actually because it's just one less thing to remove <laughs> if you actually have to service anything, you know? And I mean, I, I guarantee you so many of these customers will do their own That's right. little things, you know? And, and this is important, you know, I lifted this here, but this is about 37% lighter, right? So we talked about keeping our mass down. So we've done a multi-material sort of uh, focus, lighten up the hood and make it a little easier. Actually, I was telling the other, some of the other uh, folks that we're also recognizing we're getting much broader and broader. We're actually seeing a lot more women coming into our segment, which is awesome for, for Tacoma. And some of the complaints, some of the, I'll say shorter people, as well as uh, some of our female customers have said is, you know, this is a really heavy hood and I can't get to this prop rod. So oh. we put two prop rods. So if you're a little bit shorter, we can, you can put it in here. If you're a little taller, you want a little bit more head clearance, you know, so you can cool. put it up here. So really we from about four foot 11 all the way up to about six foot five. It's designed so that this is a Tacoma for everybody and it's a little bit easier to use. So yeah, 37% lighter. You know, we did that on the deck side. We did that on the resin deck. Uh, we did it on the tailgate. So when it's not power, a little bit easier to open and close. And you know, when we can return that mass to the vehicle, we can increase things like payload. We can make sure our fuel efficiency is good. I'm assuming this light bar is similar to the Tundra TRD Pro where this goes on uh, when you turn on the high beams. That's correct. So that's part of FMVSS. Uh, you know, we're, if we're gonna have something with this kind of power, it can't be on, it can't be brighter than the low beams, right? So that's why they are tied to the high beams. This almost doubles the, the power output of the Tundra. Much wider throw, much farther throw. So we actually get about 20 meters more throw to the side. That's then paired with rigid wide angle fogs. Now this is similar to what we use on Tundra, but the concept here, right, is we have this really great LED pattern that comes out here. But when you're off-roading and you're coming up on a turn, you need to see what's right here. So these wide angle fogs basically give you another eight meters of coverage around this area. And then these spread out. So when you're moving fast, you can see what's over here, what's way over there. And of course, what's down the road in front of you. And so that was sort of our focus on why we wanted to go that route. It's just so crazy because all, so many of these things that you have done from the factory are all things that people do aftermarket yeah. anyways to the older generation yep. Tacomas. And some people will still want to have ditch lights and that's okay. Most of these come pre-wired with accessories. So we've actually got some accessory takes off here. So if you want a uh, ditch light, we got three accessory buttons in here. We got a power takeoff here. We got a power takeoff inside the cabin and a power takeoff at the rear. So again, make it your, make it your Tacoma. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at the interior. Yeah, sure. Love, love, love this camo pattern. Cool. The seats are so comfortable. I did have a chance to sit in it. Awesome. And yeah, all premium materials. It looks incredible. And I, I don't know if you had a chance to, we can, we can go up and see the seat out because these aren't the, the final production ones, but this is the uh, ISO dynamic performance seat. So in addition to having, you know, ventilation, heating, power adjustability, this also features that brand new ISO seat, which is basically an air over oil system. We have actual shocks that control the seat in this direction, the seat laterally, and then basically this is on a spring mount ball point and this is, there's a ball joint down here. And so what this does is as you're driving down the road and you bend down right and you get that kind of head throw, this is taking all that and trying to isolate it. So it's all about stability of the driver and the passenger and trying to take out all that stress from the upper body. So 7% of total input down, which means, you know, driver fatigue, passenger fatigue, significantly reduced. And then when you get into those really fast, high impact, sort of like, you know, really dynamic events, really takes a lot of the shock out of that for you. I just, I can't believe that it's standard. That is standard. And the great part is, you know, they're completely adjustable. So we'll give you a, sort of a prescribed pressure to set them at based on the occupant's weight. And then you can adjust it. And we have little rings. And so as you're going, you can decide how much travel and kind of like you would like mountain bike shock. What you can do is you can adjust it to the, the setting that you prefer. And let's just say, you know what, I'm on road and I don't want this. Lock them both out. You can lock out the vertical or horizontal or both. Just a, a quick flip of a switch. And it's both front seats. Both front seats, that's right. I, you know, the crazy thing is I've never even seen that at all. Like I have never even, I didn't even know it existed well, until today. I, you know, we're not so sure that it does exist anywhere else. Uh, this has been something that we are working on and it's been something that, again, we want to continue to advance pro to make it a great off-road experience, even on-road. It's, it's, it's great because it just brings a whole lot of comfort. You'll, you'll notice too, the bolsters are a lot more, a lot bigger here, both uh, on, on the cushion as well as on the side cushion here. And really what they're made to do uh, is to really hold you in place. And so when you're in this nice kind of snug area, uh, it feels real good. 
I love this too. This is all the controls. That's right. Are here now versus on the dash. That's right. So very, uh, we have a lot of uh, features to put in this truck. So we wanted to be organized. You've got your multimedia up here. You got your HVAC here. This is everything that is related to your powertrain, right? You come back over here, we give you some other stuff like your fuel opener, I mean, you've got your power tailgate down button, your three aux features, your, your bed lighting. So this is kind of vehicle control, this is kind of powertrain control, and then this is like HVAC and then of course multimedia. And so you can see right here, new stabby sway bar disconnect, right? So that's a new feature that's on both the TRD Pro as well as the Trail Hunter. It's also available on the ORPs. And obviously you're pretty familiar with that. It disconnects the front stabby, gives you about 10% more travel in the front. Maybe even more importantly, you know, when you're in that sort of off camber position, it gets about, an, it allows you to access that additional 15% of stroke on the rear. So our, our core tenant of off-roading, right? We give you a bunch of tools depending on the, the situation that you're in. And so we allow, you know, our customers to decide how to best employ them. The best thing we can do is keep all four wheels in, 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 in contact. Can you turn it on for us? I sure can. All digital. All digital, display. that's right. That's right, so this is our 12.3 fully digital meter. Uh, again, that's paired with our 14 inch multimedia screen. Just this is configurable. Big. You can decide, you know, what features you want in here. It uh, comes in four different uh, graphics that uh, are available. Again, programmable, customizable to our customers. This wheel is super cool too. Yeah, a little bit of a, a, little bit of a flat bottom here. We picked this up to share this with, uh, with Tundra. We kind of thought that really part of the TRD sort of theme. Love, nice love the 12 o'clock strike. That's right, you always know if you got the alignment right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't cheat this one. The shift knob is nice too. Yeah, really, kind of really comfortable, cool. leather wrap. We got the, the red accent. I mean, this is, this is you know, we, we, we want here to be a little bit up there. That, that, is this digital? Yeah, that should be your digital display mirror. That's right. There you go. Oh! <laughs> exactly right. That is so cool. That's right. And you can adjust it a little bit too, Absolutely. Right? Up, yeah. down, left, right. Yeah, depending on what you like to see. And then you, you saw too, you can flip it down. And, you know, if that's ever never, never on there, it is a reflective surface as well. You may have noticed on top there's three shark fins, right? So that one shark fin is the traditional antenna. The two on the outboard side actually are, uh, this is with an option that allows for a wireless trailering camera. That wireless trailer oh. camera transmits directly right here and you can see everything from the back and that's what those two shark fins are doing. So many bells and whistles. Mm -hmm. uh, Built-in trailer brake control. Absolutely, too. it's absolutely critical, useful. right? If yeah. we're gonna be serious about trailering, we need to make sure that we you know, equip these trucks with uh, all the safety features you need. They can tow up to about 60, or this one will be about 6,000 pounds. So you gotta make sure you're okay. So again, this is kind of new. This is our, our drive select. You can turn it here, you go right to the, the two wheel drive and you can see quick, boom, you're back in two wheel drive. Press the button, move it to four wheel high. You can see right here with four high, boom, you're in four wheel high. We can go into our different modes, for example, drive modes. Uh, we can go to sport mode, oh. normal, eco. This is going to change. So, for example, normal mode, you move to sport, it'll change your, your steering feel a little bit tighter, a little bit more performance oriented. Wait, is it electric steering? Electric power steering, absolutely. Oh. That's so right. that's, that's new. new, too. Absolutely. Everything has been upgraded on this. Yep. Yep. Huh. So, yeah, and you can see here you got some of your more off road feature roll, incline, roll pitch. So, these are, these are things, of course, that, you know, we want to have front and center. Uh, this one actually has a heads up display. Probably a little bit difficult to see it at the moment. I'm not sure if you'll be able to pick it up in your camera. Cool. So again, keeping those eyes down the road, on the trail. This will also feature the multi-terrain. So if you go to you know, the, the 3D panel view, also multi-terrain. Multi-terrain, what that'll do is that'll pick up the front camera. So this is kind of the, the 3D panel. Oh. When we're in gear and we're rolling, the, the other systems will, will come into place. And that allows you to see what's in front of the truck, right? And then allows you to, to, to roll over, yeah. So wow. lots of different functions out here. Can you give it some rev so we can- Sure, absolutely. Oh, 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 wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. One more time, let me hear that four-cylinder turbo. <laughs> can you hear the turbos from the front? You get a little bit of, they're, they're wide a little bit. One more time. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. A little bit. Well, some of our customers like to hear a little bit on the Pro, we let, you, we let you hear it sing a little bit. All right, so we have like five minutes left of sure. light. Let's okay. talk about this one. While it's a lot easier to off-road yeah. with the automatic, yeah. I like the challenge with a manual. 
I think pedals. it's super cool. Yeah. I think, I mean, it's OG, you know, that's what, uh, we love it. That's what got the Toyota pickup trucks to begin with. Like that's what got them popular Absolutely. in the off-road scene, right? hundred percent. And this one is six speed yeah. manual. Yeah. Well, let's go inside and have a look. I don't even know what to say. I mean, the fact that this is a 2024 vehicle, yeah. brand new from Toyota with a manual transmission. We don't sell a ton of them, but the folks who love them, love them. I've had two Tacomas, uh, I'll say uh, Gen 3 Tacomas, and both of mine had three pedals. I enjoy the drive, I enjoy the connected experience that you get, and uh, I know we have a bunch of enthusiasts who feel the same. And so it was really important that we, hel we held on to this as long as we can. So this manual is available on our SR as an entry grade. We actually pair that with the, uh, the smaller uh, rear differential, we call it our BD21. It's our uh, eight and a half uh, rear diff. Uh, when we come up into the TRD series, we pair it with the uh, BD24, the nine and a half rear diff. And uh, then we're allowed to give you all of the power and really let you really let you enjoy it. So that one's really about an enthusiast. So this comes with less power then? It's just, just a little bit down. We had a little bit of uh, crankshaft hammering. And so we had a, we had a cut the, cut the power just a little bit. So we wanted to give you as much as possible. But yeah, that's the, the, the seven horsepower. But this one doesn't come in hybrid. This does not come in hybrid. This is only available in our gas with uh, the, the L4 turbo with the 6MT. Got but it. what we did add for you is this, this is called IMT2, so Intelligent Manual Transmission 2. So for those days where, you know, you're just kind of tired on your way home from work, it's got auto rev matching as well as uh, anti-stall features. So it's really tough. Great if you wanted to teach someone to, to drive this. This is so cool that you guys kept this feature. Clutch so I love up. using this in my FJ when I'm off-roading. I mean, you sometimes you just have to use it, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's a little bit trickier now because we got rid of the key. But basically, same thing. You, you engage your clutch start, cancel, foot on, the, um, foot on the brake. You have your foot ready on the gas. Basically, press, hold. It'll let you know that it's gonna to start to rev. It'll basically start to turn it over. You can lift your foot from the brake and then you know, obviously apply the gas and off you go. So then this is hybrid then. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, well. In a way, in a way. <laughs> in a way, that's in right. a way, the, electric, the starter go. is moving the truck. In that application, yeah, you're correct. Yeah, 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 that's so cool. So since you're a manual enthusiast, we'll talk about, let me just tell you a couple other cool things. Well, I'll let you decide if it's cool yeah. when we get you back out here to drive it. But <clears throat> two things we did. The clutch pedal, we had a hydraulic accumulator, right? In the, old, in the outgoing generation. For me, it was great because it, it isolated vibration and it made the, the throw. So we lightened up the clutch just a little bit. But more importantly, with when we get rid of this, uh, this, this accumulator, what it allows is very precise and consistent engagement. So it, it engages all the time at the exact same level of the throw. So if you really want to be in control and you really want to know when that pedal's out, that's, I think, a huge upgrade in this. And then to, to sort of, I'll say, pair with that, we also lightened up the, the, the pedal side so we don't have as much force on the pedal. So it really makes that back and forth control a lot better, a lot more fidelity, so that you know exactly what's happening with the drivetrain. This is so good looking too, like just this packaging. Yeah. It's so beefy. I mean, right. there's no other way to put it. It's, it's, so, it's done so well. So, but this still has four wheel drive, four yeah. high and yeah. four low. Absolutely, yep, and with the A-Track. Honestly, I would think this would be better in the sand, at least for me. Yeah. <laughs> put it in four low. You have so much resolution. Absolutely. You know, and then as soon as you feel like it's bogging, you just right. drop a gear. Exactly. No, exactly. Well, and then, yeah, pair this with our BFG tires and this thing will be a beast. So we do, we do offer this in the ORP. This is the sport, but the ORP is going to be a bunch of fun to drive. For sure. So I, I actually can see potentially people buying this. It comes with less accessories but you know it it is a blank canvas and this is something that you can build out yeah and and just to be clear i guess i would say um by definition and when you say accessories like fundamentally anything that you put on all these other trucks should fit on this truck i mean obviously there's some stuff that you know is not on this particular model but most of what we try to do runs up and down the line so if it's available on the trd series it's usually available obviously if it's if it's related to the manual the automatic transmission it's not but um, otherwise, yeah, all the, all the, if Wait you want the minute. rails or the running boards or. There's some stuff that I want to ask about. So. Sure. This has all of these crazy features. So this has adaptive cruise control. It sure does. For, with a manual transmission. Yeah. So what, what this will actually do is it does when you're, you know, when you're in a, f a specific gear, you know, it, it'll still use the radar to control your speed. But yeah, I mean, once you, once you change gears, then, you know, it's, you're, you're effectively. You're, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah, this is all part of it. You know, our, because like, yeah. it's already, I guess, not the most common thing 
to have a manual transmission and cruise control. But the fact that it's adaptive mm -hmm. it's is a bit of, so cool. Yeah, it's a bit of a uh, unicorn. That's awesome. <laughs> that is really cool. Yeah, uh, this comes completely with our TSS3 as well. So all the, the braking, etc. So we have a, a clutch switch, you know, so if it does have to do e-stop, clutch switch takes it out of gear so you don't you don't stall it but yeah. it does it by itself that's right when i mean when you come to an emergency braking situation that's right instead of just stalling out the vehicle that's right and losing exactly. that's right brake pressure and everything exactly that is so smart yeah yeah can you start this one i i sure can there we go park brake is on can i try the clutch please get over here yeah <laughs> I'm excited about this one. This one is, this is the one. See, if I was to build one of these, there you go. This would be the one. Just because, even though it's more difficult to off road, oh, this this is a light clutch. Yeah, it's taking a little bit of the effort out of it because you know we got rid of that accumulator, so we had to reduce the effort. But what you'll notice when you put it in gear, man, you throw that come out that first inch, it's it's there every time. So. If yeah, you're... in terms of like driving around town too, mm -hmm. I bet it would just be so much fun to rip this around. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you've driven this quite a bit. You got to row the gears and it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, because, you know, driving is an experience and, you know, it's it's meant to be something that, uh, you know, I like to have as much uh, engagement with it, with the driver as possible. A lot of folks don't care for it, but that's okay. You know, the folks that do will enjoy this. So, and also on top of that, this feels like a truck shifter. You know, it's not dinky. It yeah. is, it's a good throw. It feels good. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. A little bit longer throw uh, with the new bell housing. We, it's a little bit further to the, to the, uh, where the cable actually connects up to the transmission, but still, I think it's, uh, it, you know, it's good. It's confident. Uh, still are able to, you know, go from like first to reverse, first to reverse if you got a rock and get out of the, the slippery stuff. So, and then reverse is same. That's right. All the way left. You got it. Up. And then it gives it does that little beep. There you go. Yeah, uh, let you know that you're in reverse. You got it. So then, one last thing. I'm so yeah. sorry. No, no, please. <laughs> hey, we're here for you guys. Yeah. yeah. I want to talk about the air down. Yeah. What's up with this thing? Well, so unfortunately, or fortunately, however you look at it, and this is an integral part of the overall aero package, right? So the truck got bigger, the truck got wider, the truck got taller. We wanted to make sure that we still had really competitive fuel economy. And this is really important to the total aero package. So what we tried to do to this is make it so that you still have access to your recovery points, but if you are going off-roading or something like that, there's nine simple attachments. You can use either a Phillips head screwdriver or a hex bolt, shoot it with a gun, zip, 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 and it comes right off. We looked at different alternatives for this. Honestly, I looked at an, an auto air dam that would come down at speed. The problem is with our package, to get it up high enough so that I can make sure that it was out of harm's way, when you're off-roading. The last thing I wanna do is, you know, have a customer out there, drop it on a rock, have the part not function. That's an expensive, you know, part to replace. So our thinking here was make it easy to take on and off for the customers who are really gonna do some serious off-roading, easy for them to pop off, put it back on for the ride home, but make sure that, you know, if they don't take it off, it's not a, a huge replacement cost. Yeah. So trying to think about how the customer will use it and give, the, the, give them the, the benefit of this performance without having, you know, the big, repair cost. We are still a ways away from miles per gallon release. Yeah, literally we haven't even started our first uh, full on production phase for this truck. So there's still some development ongoing. We're still confirming all those things with EPA. So down the road, we'll be able to let you know where we where we land. Cool. Yeah, well, no it's dark. The sunset already and everything. Sorry for taking all your time. Hey Shelton. man, this is I really pleasure. appreciate it. Yeah, I, I'm just so glad that we actually have true car enthusiasts. Yeah. Um, behind these vehicles, you know, because you, you got it to this point. Now people like us are going to take it and run with it, awesome. you know. And then if you don't want to modify it, that's fine. You know, most of them aren't. But we love to modify our things. We love to go faster. We love to go further. And I think that's what these are perfect for. I tell you what, in a world where, you know, automobiles in some cases are, are becoming a little bit more like appliances, I still think what's great and alive is the uh, enthusiast in the truck and uh, also in the sport car sort of arena. People are still excited about these as part of a, a driving experience. So that's what we really wanted to deliver was a truck that we can give to you to customize it. If you don't buy it for the reasons that we put it together, we make it very easily accessible and customizable for you. So you're, you're, you're our target customer. Awesome. Cool. All right. Thank you. See you guys in the next video.